everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a review of the most expensive lipstick in the world. I hope it's the most expensive lipstick because it's pricey. It is the Christian Louboutin lipstick. Little story about how I got this. My fiance got me three of these for Christmas. I cannot tell you how shocked I am because he is not the type to be spending this much money on lipstick, people. Never saw it coming. And here's the thing, when I opened up the box that had these lipsticks in it, I like started to well up because I was like so emotional that he paid enough attention to know that this was like on my wish list and I just... Like I started to well up and then he said to me, I got these for you so you could do an unboxing video. Like the tears of happiness just started like falling down. I was like, oh my God, you get me, you really get me. I was a blubbering mess, I just, Whatever. I wanted to try out each lipstick. He got me one in each formula. Again, props to him. He guessed about the colors and I would say for the most part he was pretty dead on. One of them was a shade I had been dying to try. The other one was one I was contemplating and one of them is maybe not my best shade. But, but you know what? A bad shade of Christian Louboutin lipstick is still better than anything else. So I thought I would do a little review for you and tell you what I thought of each of the formulas and whether or not I think it's worth your money. I'm gonna start out with the sheer, which the shade he got me was Petal Rose, which is actually the shade that I was like, if I was gonna get this in a sheer, I was gonna try the Petal Rose. The shades of Rouge Louboutin, just to backtrack, they have a black box, black writing, red side. The ones that are not the Rouge Louboutin shade in all the different formulas come in a black box with gold lettering and a gold side. Packaging is unbelievable. You basically get this beautiful box and you open it up. I've taken this out, but each lipstick, it has a tag. It's on like this beautiful like shoestring. It almost looks like a Christmas ornament. It's in this red velvet case here. The ones that are not the Rouge Louboutin shade are all in these beautiful gold packages. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. Stunning. They are a little bit heavy, I would say, to work with. It's kind of this like, I don't know if it's like honeycomb pattern. This sheer shade, and this is Petal Rose, on me is possibly the best sheer shade of like your lips but better lipstick I've ever had on my lips. It is just the absolute perfect just little hint of color that I can imagine. It's got these little studs on its side. I mean it's just absolutely stunning as far as shade goes. I will say and I think maybe it's because as far as like a sheer lipstick I'm used to I'm used to to, that I'm used to. As far as sheer lipsticks go, I'm usually more used to using like a tinted balm because they're the balm. I'm sorry for that. Because this is a sheer lipstick but it's not moisturizing at all, I found it drying but that might have just been me personally. And it's also it's winter time so it's drying the air so my lips are dry anyway. And again, I am used to more of like a moisturizing sheer lipstick and this is not moisturizing at all. It didn't last all that long but at the end of the day like sheer lipsticks just don't last long so I was hoping for I mean these run for like $90 like I was hoping for a $90 lipstick it would be a little bit more long-lasting but again because it is such a sheer shade and it is such a perfect your lips with better shade it's kind of very easy to just touch up it is a little heavy to carry around in your purse and it's obviously bulkier and there is the question of whether or not you want to carry around a $90 lipstick in your purse but as far as shade goes like I mean if you have similar coloring to me and and you you want like a perfect sheer your lips but better this is the petal is it petal rose yes petal rose is absolutely stunning not long lasting not moisturizing at all a bit drying but a beautiful shade is what I would say but I have a feeling that if you're thinking about investing in a $90 lipstick you're probably not gonna go with sheer which is what hesitated me from well I mean, I don't, didn't have, I didn't have the money to be throwing around on this expensive lipstick. So if I hadn't got it as a gift, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But because I did and I could try it out, I would say likely you're probably not going to go with a sheer shade if you're looking for an investment lipstick. But again, packaging is beautiful. The shade is beautiful. But again, it's a sheer lipstick. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like phenomenal that made it other than 
the packaging and everything, which I think what you're paying for with these lipsticks. The formula was okay. Next, I have the matte lipstick. The matte lipstick, again, in the Rouge Louboutin, it's a different package, but for these matte lipsticks, this is in the all gold. It's black if it's in the Rouge Louboutin, but this shade is actually in, how do I say this? Ro Ro Co Coty, Rococoti, Ro um, I don't know. A similar shape, they're both gold. This one has more of the honeycomb quality to it, whereas this one, it still has the studs, but base of it is, <laughs> this is weird. The base of it is more matte. Let me take it off here. This shade is, I think, more of like a dusty rose kind of a shade. I didn't think this is the best shade on me. It doesn't look terrible. I didn't wear this actually all day, so I can't really speak on its durability, but it was very drying. I'm not normally a fan of matte lipsticks. I know a lot of people are. I can kind of deal with them when they're like those like kiss proof or stay all day kind of liquid lipstick things. But in general, I find matte lipsticks to just feel too drying on my lips. So I didn't wear this all day because it just felt really drying on me. And it's a great Kylie Jenner 90s kind of a color. It just wasn't the most flattering color on me per se. I, I didn't I, I feel like other reviews I've read, people have said that it's a very moisturizing matte lipstick. It doesn't feel as drying, but I found this to feel very drying. But I found the sheer to be kind of drying, so maybe I just have dry lips, but that was my take on it. Now, the one that I had my eye on, Dream Christian Louboutin lipstick, for me, is the Rouge Louboutin Satin. My absolute, let's just, let's just admire this for a moment. Oh! is absolutely beautiful because this is the Rouge Louboutin it comes in the black packaging it would look if it was any other color but the Rouge Louboutin it would be in the gold except that this is the base is going to be shinier than the matte one so that's just kind of how you tell them apart because obviously it doesn't say what shade it is on here this is actually one I have on right now I love this shade it's a very beautiful red I will say, I'm not really a lip brush kind of girl. I'm like a slap it on from the tube kind of a girl. These are kind of big. You do get an awful lot of lipstick, I would say, which I would hope you would for your money. The actual lipstick itself feels kind of wide, so it's a little difficult, I find, to control, especially if you don't have really full lips. I was a little disappointed with the pigment of these. I mean, the shade is beautiful. I really love the way it looks on me. Pigment, I didn't think was as much of a payoff as I was expecting. It might be in the red shade more in the matte from what I've read in reviews. Because it's a satin and it's not a matte, it doesn't have as much staying power. I wore this yesterday and one, one salad and it was kind of pretty much gone. So there was a lot of wear and tear. It didn't last very long on me at all. But again, beautiful shade. Packaging is amazing. I do, I do, I do love it. I love it so much. Another thing about this is I kind of have my MAC Red is, to me, the ultimate red lipstick. Like, as far as, like, an actual, like, lipstick in a tube. It's satin. As far as, like, color, formula, everything, that is kind of, like, my upper echelon of lipsticks. That's kind of what I compare everything to, and I feel like, as far as pigment, wearability, that's better. And, again, MAC is out of a lot of people's price range, but it's a lot more affordable than this. So here is the general consensus of my Christian Louboutin. If you're asking yourself, should you get the Christian Louboutin or should you not? I think of these as being collector's items more than anything because again, they are so pricey. I'm going to be less likely to just throw them in my purse and you know, go someplace in them and I'm probably not going to want to like use them up really quickly. Don't expect this to be a $90 lipstick. You're paying for the name, you're paying for the packaging, you're paying for it to be more of an art piece than you are paying for it to be actual practical makeup. Honestly, I would recommend buying, if you really want to buy a, a quality lipstick, honestly, I feel like my MAC lipsticks, which are a lot less expensive than this, are better quality, in my opinion. But you know what, if you've tried these and you have an opinion or use it a review or want to put your two cents in on these then please leave them in the comment section below I want to hear from you if you found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up or just if you like me give it a thumbs up be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos thank you guys so much for watching and hope you join me next time